Hi everyone and welcome to the Langley Academy Primary's YouTube channel. So, we've decided from TLAP that we need to get you some fantastic experiments that you can do at home. So that's what we're going to do today. I'm going to show you a fantastic experiment called Milk Madness. So we're going to find out about that. So, let's find out what we need. The ingredients you will need for this experiment are whole milk, food colouring, cotton buds, washing up liquid, a spoon, and a bowl. Okay, so first things first, I'm going to get myself my bowl, and I'm going to get myself some milk. Now I've got some whole milk here. Now this experiment does require whole milk, however, you could experiment and see whether different milk brings different results. So I'm going to pour in that milk first. I'm not going to use all of it, just in case my experiment goes a bit wrong. But I'm going to get a nice amount in. I've used about half there. That's about a pint of milk I've used there. And I'll leave that on the side for later. The next thing of what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my food colouring. Now the food colouring that I've decided to go for was yellow, green, blue and red. I tried to go for different colours, the ones that didn't look too similar. Now you can use whatever colours you would like, but I'm using these four. Now what you could use, and the scientific equipment that you could have used, would have been a pipette, but I don't have a pipette, so I'm going to use the next best thing, which is a spoon. And I'm going to pour my liquid onto a spoon, just around about that much, just teaspoons full. And I'm going to carefully drop it in just on top of my milk. And I'll show you exactly what that looks like now. So here's what I've got so far. I have my milk and I've got my red ink food colouring that is spread out on top. So now I'm going to get my next colour and I'm going to add it in. I'm going to try and add it in to somewhere slightly further away from the red so that it doesn't matter. I'm just going to use the same spoon. Oopsies. I'm going to drop that in on that side there. And then I'm going to get myself my next colour. I'm going to use, let's go green next. You can see food colour is just slightly moving, not a lot though. It's all very stagnant, especially that red. If I get myself my green now. Ooh, green looks quite thick. Uh, you see I'm getting much better there. And you can see how the green is slowly moving away. And finally I'm going to use orange. Oh, my mistake, yellow. I'll put it in this corner on this side. Wow, you can see all those colours now starting to mix together. Now the final th in, uh, ingredients that we have is we need to get our cotton buds. We need to get our washing up liquid. What you need to do is you need to get just one cotton bud and get some washing up liquid and just put it on the end of your cotton bud. Just enough. So then when you dip it in, you could pause the video here and see what you think. Have a prediction of what you think is going to happen. But when I put this washing up liquid in... Changes the tension on top of the surface. Meaning that all the colours move away. And you could use this to get really creative and start mixing all of those colours together. How oh, fantastic. Once you've added up your washing up liquid, you could always just mix your colours together one final time and see what brilliant colours and rainbow effect you can come up with. I look forward to seeing your attempts 
and how you find this experiment. So everyone, what a fantastic experiment that was. I loved how all the colours moved around from the distortion of our washing up liquid. I had some great fun and I hope you did too. If you're going to do this experiment at home, make sure you ask an adult because it can get a little bit messy. Please consider subscribing to the YouTube channel because we've got some really good content that's going to be coming out and it can make sure that you can be learning at home. Thank you very much. See you later.